Hey Bulls fans, Adam Harry back again with another tabletop ready tips for the rest of us where I go over some basic tips to get your stuff tabletop ready. This is the new, newer uh, Kador Ruin Character Heavy Warjack. Um, what I want to go over in this episode, and I know it's been a while so I do apologize, it's just uh, things have been a little hectic, but I want to go through some more basic hobby tips on working with a uh, specific material. In this case, we've got the Privateer Press uh, PVC stuff that they use for their models. But on top of that, this is a character uh, heavy warjack kit. So this is a great opportunity. I know we've gone over the subject already, but talking about working with metals. So this is going to be a mixed, uh, working with mixed materials. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive on into this box and uh, get, get to work on assembling this model. All right, so I've got everything laid out here that I'm going to use uh, to assemble this. I'm just going to run through my uh, materials list real quick for you. I've got some handy clippers, which I highly recommend picking up a good good pair of clippers. You want one with the, the flat side there, and uh, just to make sure that you get a nice clean cut. I have these. These are from uh, Zeron. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I bought them at a hobby shop, and uh, they're the spring-loaded kind that kind of push back. So um, they've been with me for years. They work great. So that's that. Step one. Uh, get get some clippers. I have a hobby knife. This is a X-Acto knife. Uh, this is a Gale Force 9 brand. I've had it for, I don't know, years as well. Uh, these these blades are replaceable. This one's about dead. Uh, looks like it's about time to replace that blade. Um, but um, yeah, you want a sharp, sharp X-Acto knife to clean stuff up with. So I've got my, uh, my modeling glue here. This is super glue. This is not, this is not plastic glue. So if you remember from the working with plastics, uh, I, I showed off some of this stuff. This is the liquid cement for plastic models. It will not work with PVC. So the stuff that uh, the Privateer Press models are made out of, because the Privateer Press models, this PVC stuff is more akin to resin versus a, a polymer or plastic. So that stuff, this stuff will not work with some of these models. You do have to use super glue. And whenever I use super glue, I love to use my uh, zip kicker instance that stuff. Um, just accelerator to get the process done faster so um, just saves you time you do want to use this in a well ventilated area I'm actually in a room with the vent so when I um, put this model together I and let it set for a bit I will turn the vent on and leave the room just so I don't inhale any of those uh, awesome fumes that that go along with that I do not recommend that they are not good for you so um, let's go ahead and, and take a look at the model we'll go over some basics oh last two things cutting board duh and uh, I just have a cloth just, uh, you know, for excess glue, wipage, or pretty much anything um, just handy to have a, a cloth around. So that's pretty good. Uh, taking a look at the model, uh, extremely nice sculpt, uh, pretty well done. This is some nicer, uh, almost resin-like, the, the PVC stuff. So um, I believe this might actually be a different material than they typically use, but the, uh, the fact remains the same. You still need to use super glue versus the plastic glue. So these are all the resin bits. And then of course we're working with the mixed um, mixed pieces for the uh, plastics, or sorry, for this model. So we've got metal and the PVC stuff. And I just wanna show off that, uh, you know, building this model works just fine. I'll probably do something simple like the shield first to show um, what this looks like. And then I'll go back and assemble the rest of this model. But uh, they even have different legs. So these are the metal legs. Um, I believe you got the joint here. Let's just do some dry fitting. So, yep, the, that's the leg part goes in there just fine. So that's how this all will assemble together. So, and of course it's Privateer Press. So I've got my awesome card that comes with it, which is just gameplay stuff. And then they have actual assemble instructions on the back, as you can see there, what the finished model is supposed to look like, and then how everything that fits together. Uh, this is a ton of pieces. There's a lot of little ones, but the same rules apply. I forgot one last thing. I'm reaching back here to grab it. A toothbrush. Uh, if you have an old nasty toothbrush, this works great. Um, I'll just go through this real fast. We, we talked about this in the metals. Uh, working with metal segment, it's the same. Same still applies here. You probably want to give uh, your metals a quick, quick brush down. Uh, just especially where stuff's connecting. Uh, it's not super important on the other parts of it, but um, this will help one clean off some of that excess mold release crap that uh, is on the models, and it'll make it make it kind of extra shiny, uh, so you can can uh, 
the, the bonds will be better for you. So I'm gonna do that real fast. I'll, I'll take care of all this off camera. So I'm gonna first step after unpacking the model, uh, dry fitting stuff. Uh, after all that, the first real step of assembly is cleaning your model. So I'm gonna do that. So cleaning the metals, toothbrush for that part. Um, and then for the plastics here, the PVC stuff, it's not really plastic. Uh, if I could hold on to the, the bit. We're gonna clean, clean off all the excess things. So um, yeah, I'll get to that in a second. I'm gonna brush these models down and then we'll, uh, we'll get to clipping and cleaning the uh, PVC part of it. Here we go. All right, I've got most of these models, uh, most of the metal bits at least, um, just brushed down. There's a couple of them that I didn't do because I wanted to show uh, a couple of things real fast. So um, first off, again, I've gone through this with the, uh, the working with metals video we've done before, but you'll get bits like this. You just uh, can, can pinch them off. You know, they, they twist off, works really well. Um, but then you're gonna wanna, you, then you're gonna wanna go back and adjust your camera. But you're gonna, gonna, <laughs> gonna wanna go back and just scrape along the metal there and clean them up a little bit just to make sure you have a nice smooth uh, piece and no no bumps there. So um, ideally you're, you're supposed to cut away from yourself uh, but uh, I've got enough scar tissue on my thumb that I just stopped caring. So <laughs> I'm just kidding. But seriously, I, I don't care anymore. Um, you may get occasional bits like this. This is not this little flash piece here on the very top. Let me zoom in so you can see what I'm talking about. Zoom way in right there. You can see that little burr on the top part right there. That's not actually part of the model. So we're gonna take our clippers. We're gonna get the flat part first and we're going to clip that right off. And I like to put my finger there over the top. Um, it's not gonna pinch you if you do it correctly, but that helps it from shooting off and poking somebody in the eye across the room. So that's cleaned off and we'll run back over that with our X-Acto knife here. And I'll just show you real fast on camera. I just kind of scrape along that edge, make sure it's nice and smooth and should be good to go. So that's how to clean the metal bits. Um, let's look at some plastics real quick. I'll just zoom out just a tad. Um, this, again, this is not part of the, uh, the PVC, excuse me. This is not part of the model, this bit right here. So same deal, same technique, flat side of the, uh, the blade. Put my finger on this side, not in the blade, not in the pinchers obviously, but on, on the front there. Uh, and just kinda put my finger on the bit that's sticking out too. And we're gonna clip that off. And we have a little bit of a burr left, and we're just gonna take our knife and scrape it off. Sometimes you wanna go the other side too to make sure there's no extra lip there, but that's pretty much it. So uh, I'm gonna clean off this stuff here. This one actually, this bit actually looks pretty good. I think you guys get the general idea. It's pretty simple, the, the cleaning process, um, working with the metal um, at this point. So we're gonna, I'm gonna take this bit, I'm gonna clean it off. We're gonna do the shield assembly right here, right now. So um, I'm uh, examining the bit and I noticed the metal part and I noticed there's a little bit of flash there. So just use that to dig it off and snap that right off. Um, there's some burrs on long spikes. So we're gonna clean those off too. You can hear them flying off. And just kind of clean off those real quick. There's a little bit of a burr slash miscast just to make sure. I want to check the opposite side. It does look like it was something from the uh, the uh, molding process. So I'm just going to cut that off. So very carefully, very slowly. Take your time with this. Don't rush and slice your thumb open. I've done that many a time and it is not good for you. So, <laughs> so there you have it. I'm gonna give it a quick last once over with the toothbrush. Uh, again, this is just to make sure that uh, we've got, first off, I'm not obscuring any detail from what any leftover mold release. Uh, it's also gonna give the metal a nice little polish. So that's that side. This is the side that is actually more important. It's gonna connect to the model. Um, so I'm just gonna give that a quick brush so there's no, no more release. So this bit is pretty obvious where this goes. It's gonna it's gonna glue right onto the uh, the shield there, as you can see. So that uh so we're gonna glue this on camera. Um, one of the tips I picked up when working with metal is scoring the side that's gonna connect. So those those little scratches they help line up the the bits and they kind of instead of it being um, super flat and the super glue the super glue actually gets into those cracks and kind of kind of tightens in there and, and seals it up. So. 
Um, I'm going to score this up just a touch. So just taking the, uh, the X-Acto knife here and just creating scrapes on the inside. Uh, you don't have to go crazy with it, uh, but I like to do kind of an alternating. That's plenty. That's probably way more than I need. I don't know if you guys can see it too well. You see all those little scratches there from the, yeah, there you go. Kind of like Two Faces coin. <laughs> it's all scratched up. So there you go. That's all you have to do. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. You can do the do it on this side. So I'm just going to give it a couple of abrasions here, uh, just to create gaps for the glue. Same thing. Um, it's not super necessary, but I find that it does help the models stick together a little bit better. So we've got some scrapes and scratches ready to go here. So this is the uh, correct part of the model. Oh, I need to clean that bit off too. So um, double check my instructions to make sure I'm not cutting more junk off than I need to. So I think that this burr right here, yeah, that is excess. So, um, let me make sure there's no other excess. Flat end, comes right off. And scrape that down. Problem solved. Okay, so now we're gonna go. Glue part, pretty simple. Um, I like to put the glue on the bit, well, in this case it's it, usually if there's like an interlocking bit so they go like that, I'll put the glue on this end and then spray this bit where it's going into. But in this case, if that if I was doing it this way, this would technically be the, the part that's going into the other one, but uh, the weight of the metal I feel like it's probably going to be better to put glue on that end and do that. So again, we're working with mixes here, so what I'm going to do so I'm going to take a dab of glue, and again, a little goes a long way. Uh, just put that on the base, or on the base, on the uh, the middle there, and just kind of uh, move it around a little bit, tap it if you need to, make sure you get plenty of, of surface coverage there. I'm going to use the tip here and just kind of push that around. Um, wipe off the tip of your glue at that point on the, uh, the washcloth, the rag, or whatever. Do that over here, got a better angle. So, so that it doesn't seal your glue back up. And then I grab the, uh, the instant set here, zip kicker stuff. I'm just gonna put it on the, uh, the rag, as you can see right there, and give it a squirt. Oop, come on. It's not coming out. There it goes, all right. A little squirt there. You don't have to do a bunch, it finally came out. So, da 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 da, and make sure we're lined up correctly. This is a shield after all, and slide it on there and let it set. I'm pushing a little bit of pressure, I'm not going nuts, um, and I'm just going to let that set now. Um, a lot of times, too, I'll try to prop it up with something. Um, you can use like the cap, the glue, or whatever um, to help it set correctly. So um, that's pretty much that whole process. So it's not complicated, but the big thing there, the big takeaway, you cannot use the plastic cement. You have to use actual super glue. I just use super glue plus zip kicker because I think it works better. So um, yeah, I'm gonna assemble the rest of this model. I think that's enough of a tutorial for <laughs> working with mixes. If, you, if I was working with plastic and metal, which I have done in the past, um, I would still probably recommend using super glue. I don't see a reason to use this when you are bonding plastic on pla uh, plastic on plastic. This works great, but I don't see a reason to use it if you were doing plastic on metal. It will not set correctly. So if you're using plastics and metals for the combined pieces like this, super glue for the plastic on plastic, this works great. For the metal on metal, super glue. So that's the those are your big takeaways. Um, just a really quick tabletop ready for you hope you enjoyed it I, I hope to be doing more tabletops in the future um just haven't had a lot of modeling project time <laughs> so uh but now i've got a cool project maybe i'll do a a painting tutorial on this guy real quick or something something crazy like that but i gotta build it first so anyway adam here from both signing off hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching have a good one